what is going on ladies and gentlemen my name is Nick I am Australian and I make Call of Duty videos and today we have episode number two of my tactic series and today we are discussing the game type yes we're discussing a game type today in tactics and that is domination and that is actually what you see on your screen um, we are playing domination on hijacked but before I get into anything about my class setup and all that good stuff, remember you can follow me at iCodAustralia on Twitter and you can use the hashtag iTactics. Make sure you use HD to make sure you, so you can see that hashtag. There's an I before tactics, hashtag iTactics. So you can let me know what you think about the video on Twitter. Uh, guys, so today, as I mentioned, uh, we have Domination here on Hijacked and I am playing alongside my good friend Michael, aka Killer Skep, that is his PSN or SEN tag as you want to call it now, Sony Entertainment Network. Um, I am using the SMR with Select Fire and Suppressor and I'm using a Naked 5.7 as my secondary and I don't really use that too often. Uh, I'm using the Hunter Killer Drone, the Hellstorm Missile and the Lightning Strike as my um, score streaks and I'm using Lightweight, Cold Blooded and Dexterity as my perks. You can see there I did pick up the, uh, uh, I think it's the Remington shotgun, but mainly I use this suppressed, uh, suppressed, uh, SMR, and I have it fully auto because I had a select fire on it. So, um, I was, um, I was trying to get more my headshots for it at this time, so that is during that period again. And I hope you guys are actually enjoying some different styles of gameplay, because I know a lot of people just post, you know, MP7, uh, PDW gameplay. So, bringing out some variety as well, and I actually managed to get up to the, I managed to get the 100 headshots yesterday for the SMR, I'm up to the um, bloodthirsties and all that stuff now. But today I want to discuss the, obviously the tactics part of the video, and this is domination. So, domination, if you didn't know already, there are three flags on the map, you are, you aim to control, well, as much as you can, so if you control two flags and the enemy controls one, you will be gaining more points than them. So basically the idea of the game mode is for you to control most of the flags, the more flags you control, the more points you will gain. So right now we are actually losing, you can see 43 to 23, 20, uh, 40, well whatever the score is at the time, you can see there 45, 24, because they have two flags. And to be honest, it is a bit of a struggle during the first round here, um, I try my best to capture B as many times as I can, and I think I do cap it here before they kill me, and um, I do my best during the whole entire game to help my team out. Um, I'm not sure how Michael goes, I can't exactly remember, but this is, I think, um, the tougher of the two rounds. We do turn it around in the second, yes, spoiler, and I do fail my Hunter Killer Drone right there. But, um, so when you're playing Domination, so we, let's just use Hijack the map we're on as an example today. You see B is in an awkward position, and when there's a flag in an awkward position, you really want to make sure you get there first. In the first round, the reason we lost B was because I didn't take advantage of knowing my teammates were going to secure A first, and you can see they take B back right there. What I should have done, as I fail my shooting, what I should have done there at the start of the round, instead of going to get A, I should have noticed my teammates actually went after A in there. Also note there guys, on the assault rifle, I just switched to semi-auto to take that guy out. When you're in long, long distances, use semi-automatic. That's what the select fire is there for, and then you can say switch it up to fully automatic. Which a lot of people get confused. It is still sort of semi-automatic, but the single shots fire a lot quicker. Um, anyway, back to what I was talking about. Um, what I should have done is noticed my teammates were all just capturing A, and as I try and cap B, I get killed. Um, I should have just ran straight for B, and you'll see uh, what happens in the second uh, round there, how I fix my little area there. And then that's how we turn things around. There is only a minute 15 remaining in round one of two, and you can see we are down by a... F it's not too bad. It is certainly you know, winnable the match still. Um, I have had bigger turn turnarounds than this. They were really hard, and trust me, you don't want to give yourself... You're always better off. It's like a football match. It's like a sport. That's why I play to win my games. I don't play for KDs, but I know I have to post a KD that's decent. This ain't the greatest KD, but I know I have to post decent KDs for you guys, as well as, you know, good gameplays. And you can see, I think I get B back here before getting killed. Oh, no. Yeah, I do. Just. And then he kills me, but I still got Bravo. But I think... I'm not sure. I think we actually keep it for the end of the round here and gives out gives us a chance so if you come into a situation like this on domination the game type domination um if you're losing with you know 30 odd seconds a minute left try and get at least two of the flags and give yourself a bit of a chance heading into round three so you can see there at the score below we're gaining points a little bit quicker now than them because we have both flags but they are still gaining points so when you're in a situation like like this you really need to get um all three flags capped, which we don't actually manage, I don't think, until the last round. I'm not sure if we've managed it in the last round, but we do gain enough points on them here. Um, 
and we do sort of bring it back into, um, you know, shooting distance, and you can see this is only 3-on-3, three three, which, to me, this made it more interesting, it made it pretty exciting, the gameplay, and I'm actually very, I prefer it when there's less people, and here I skip forward, and you can see the first thing I did was went straight on B, guys, that is what I was talking about, and you can see we're losing 100, 100 to 75 here, but we have now already two of the flags capped. And there I take that guy out with a hunter killer, but it, oh, no, I don't actually. Yeah, he had flak jacket on. Um, and I've actually, uh, after this gameplay, after this game, I actually started to use flak jacket. I use that every time I play Domination now. It is necessary. It is great for capping flags like Bravo there. And I'm not sure if we go after um, their flag here. I think we keep it because you can see we are gaining a lot of points on them and... If you're in a situation like we were, I highly recommend that you um that you go straight for Bravo, especially in the situation that we were in. And I think I leave A here because I know we have them spawn trap. They're going to struggle to get B, and if this stays like this, we're going to turn it around pretty easily. And you can see, um, I do bring out the five seven here and take out a couple of lads right there, lads guys, whatever you want to call them. I've never used those before, so I chucked them out straight away. You can see I have my score streaks, but I'm keep keeping them. Because I know if they start to take Bravo, I'm going to have to use them. I don't think I end up actually using them on Bravo. I might have, I'm not too sure. Because they eventually do start to cap it, but we save it. And you can see we've turned this around 114 to 105 now. 115 to 105. We're getting close, guys. Um, uh, weapon of choice. Oh, here we go. This is what I start using it. Um, I heard there was someone on B, and you can see, I think I do just get him. And um, I saved B right there. Even though I could have just popped up and killed him. And then I try to chuck my lightning strike over B. But anyway, over to weapon choice. It's really up to you. I know a lot of people say certain weapons are better for um, certain game types. But it's not the weapon. You're better off thinking about perks, score streaks. Those are the real the thing that you really need to think about when it comes to um, what game type. And you can see we're about to turn it um, on its head here. We're about to take over a score line. And I waste another hunter killer, I think. I've got to learn to throw those up into the air. But um, think about your perks, like on this map, I know, f actually on every domination map, I highly recommend you use Flak Jacket, unless you're rushing. To be honest, I actually highly recommend you don't use a secondary and a stun grenade. You maybe use Perk 1 Greed, you use Lightweight and um, Flak Jacket, because you know B, people are going to be rushing towards Bravo. And um, you and well, when you're in there, uh, you want to make sure you don't get killed. And you can see here, we have turned it around, we have the lead. And I'm going to maintain it for the rest of the game. And I just got Blue Tiger. And by God, does that feel like that was a long time ago. Because now I have the actual um, gold for the... Well, I don't have gold, but I've got all the headshots. And you can see we have him pinned back here. This guy I have a little bit of a follow on with. And I think I kill him. Yep. Um, and my Hunter Killer Drone. Do I actually get successful with this one? I chuck this one up in the air this time. I'm not sure if it kills anyone. But um, it does actually happen to kill that guy somehow ah. so yeah guys um i hope you enjoy this episode um i really just want to let you know guys if you didn't if you're new to the game mainly this is what it's for you know if you're new to the game learn how to play domination you want to know how to you know what flags to capture so basically obviously a lot of people say you know a and b like the middle to your flag your near flag and your middle flag are the two and i suggest that is probably the best option and here i make sure we capture b um that I do recommend. A lot of people say you should go and dominate. No, if the scoreline is close enough, I know I can mathematically work it out. There is a certain amount that tells you you can't get it. So if, you know, the scores, I think, uh, let's say 100 to nothing, um, 101 to nothing at the start of the second round, if you have capped two flags, you're obviously not going to win um, because they have that extra point. Because if you capture two flags, you're obviously going to only get the same amount. So, yeah. I'm not sure how that works out exactly. You can work it out, work it out mathematically. But if the score's reasonable, guys, by at the, sec at the start of the second round, capture the two flags and you will make the comeback as long as they don't touch them at all. That's the key. Do not let them get the flags back. If you want to dominate, dominate. You can get yourself a healthy lead. If you're going to dominate the game and dominate all three flags, I suggest doing it at the start and getting a healthy lead. Well, I hope you enjoyed episode two, guys. You'll see the KD ratio here at the end as I use my lightning strike. Unfortunately, I don't get the kill cam. My good friend at Killerscap gets it. But thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you follow me at iCod Australia and use the hashtag iTactics. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.